Welcome to a brand new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we will add controller support to the player character that we created in the last video. You can find that video linked in the comments below or in the description below rather and so if you join that video then you can open your my first character you project which we created back then or you can just use the character you're already working on because this should work on any character and I'm gonna use the newest Xbox controller but it should work on any generic PC controller as well as the PlayStation 4 controller and older Xbox controllers so there shouldn't be a problem there but if you followed along on the last tutorial then we will open the same map that we were working on so we go and open my player level 01 and just to check here what we did we made sure we could look up and down and rotate with the mouse and we use the WASD keys to move and we run by holding shift down we crouch by holding C down and we jump with the space bar so now we will translate those movements over to the controller so we go to edit and open project settings and then we find input under engine and we start with forward and backward so we add and then we find the gamepad and that will be the left thumbstick and it's forward and backward so that means up and down which then is the Y axis for the strafe left and right we will find the left thumbstick X axis for the rotate left and right you know look left and right this will be the right thumbstick we can just search right thumb and then take the x-axis there and finally to look up and down we search for again right thumbstick but this time it's the y-axis now I enjoy having looking up and down to be inverted so I'll take a minus here now let's see if this actually works so enter the game and I can move I can move with this one and I can look up and down and to the sides with the right thumbstick. Now let's add the rest. So jump, let's just take that on the A button or the X button on PlayStation or what's called face button bottom and running will be just simply you know clicking the left stick so that will be left thumbstick button finally to crouch we can put that on maybe the right shoulder so right gamepad right shoulder now Let's see if this works. I press down the left thumbstick and I'm running. And I'm jumping with the A and I'm crouching with the right shoulder. Now, while testing the game, it's okay to have an exit button exit out of the game button on the controller because you're going to be jumping in and out of course you could just put down the controller and press escape but I like having it mapped to the controller while I'm actually making a level so what we can do then is add another action mapping and call this exit game and we can put this on you know the select select button which is the gamepad 
special left. Because it's so very special. Now, to implement that, we will open our character, my character. And we just right click and search for exit game, which is the one we created right now. We drag out pressed and we simply search for quit game. I'm just going to create a comment, C, quit game. Like that. Now compile, save, save, and let's try. So we're running around, jumping, crouching, and we're done testing. And we click the select button. Bloop. And we're out. And of course, as you add more functionality to your character, you simply create more action mappings and add in shooting and whatever you know that you need to the controller. And there you have it. Hope that was helpful and have a great day.